Semiconductor ETFs had a huge drop last night. Last night, it dropped about 5%. And in fact, if you take a look at the current formation, it is showing a rising wedge. A rising wedge is usually associated with bearish moves. Today, this video, I'm going to talk about NVIDIA because NVIDIA is at an all-time high. And we've seen that the drop across the board is for semiconductor stocks because the ETF also moved down. I want to evaluate what to do with NVIDIA right now. Nvidia is near to the all-time high. So this is your all-time high for Nvidia. Second, Nvidia is near to one of the previous high. Third, Nvidia is also near to this high point here. That's a, another third high. All these are all significant high. Okay, and I'm just gonna mark in the third high with a blue line here. Few things. Number one, yesterday Nvidia dropped because probably technically it hit the resistance level because at all time high. At the same time, with RSI is showing over bot situation. That means the RSI is near to the 70 and above the 70 levels and as well as with the MACD is showing a little bit of a bearish divergence that means as price goes higher the MACD indicator moved to lower so that's a sign of a weakening strength as price continue to move up if you take a look at the blue line here Nvidia is still supported the long-term trend of Nvidia is still up my system is predicting that a strong support reside at around 109.29 levels. That means that if it should come back down at around this level, Nvidia is still in an uptrend as long as it doesn't break below this level. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? What I want to bring up was that yesterday, the drop of Nvidia was a slightly higher volume. Okay, we can see a little bit of a spike in the volume here near to the high so this means that probably there were quite a lot of transaction and with the bearish close maybe the market is starting to take profit on nvidia i won't say for the long term it could be for the short term as that the resistance is quite obvious so in a way i can only say at this moment nvidia is near to the support because we see here was the previous high but at the same time it is near to a resistance the idea is that anything can happen so if you have an existing nvidia position or if you want to trade into nvidia let's say for example because the earnings is coming in november then what can you do I'm at SwordGen page right now and I've chosen underlying as NVIDIA type as all. I can see two DLCs. One is daily shot. Daily shot means that if you're bearish and you think that NVIDIA is to head down, then you buy a daily shot. You will make a profit if NVIDIA moves down. For daily long, you will buy it if you are bullish about NVIDIA and you will make a profit when you know NVIDIA moves up. Let's click on the daily shot. Uh, right now, it is trading in Asia trading zone. That means that as long as SGX stays open, it is trading. And the reference price is based on Blue Ocean platform. So that is aftermarket trading. Now, the way I see about using DLCs to trade into NVIDIA is that you maybe perhaps think that very soon NVIDIA might be moving because of an important event. Then you want to trade that during the Asian zone. That means you want to already get into Asia zone with a position so that when the US zone opens, you'll be able to profit from that. If price is to get supported and moves up, then the daily long DLCs will be in the profit. But if price is to move below the blue line, then a daily shot will be in profit. So it's at the critical level. We do not know whether it's going up or going down. But again, that the DLCs becomes an option for you to take a position. All right, I hope that this video is useful for you to bring an idea into what you can do with Nvidia if you don't want to buy the stocks directly. And if you do have any other stocks that you want me to discuss especially for us stocks let me know i'll be able to cover them you know in my video